Lucario is a Pokemon released in Generation 4, and it's probably the single most iconic Pokemon from its generation. Lucario has been available to use in every game since its release, even receiving one of the most powerful Mega Evolutions in Generation 6. Lucario is back once again in Gen 9, and this time it's ranked in the UU tier in competitive singles. Not bad for a Pokemon that's been around for over 15 years. Let's take a look at what Lucario has to offer this time around in Gen 9 competitive singles. But first, First, an urgent update. Wanted Pokey Fugitive Iron Mugulus has successfully escaped from Pokemon Prison, according to some trusted sources. Thanks to the viewers at home, the guards were successfully alerted to the escape attempt. However, Spidops was able to use his move Sticky Web against the guards and slow their pursuit. Iron Mugulus and his new accomplice Goldengo have escaped, and their current whereabouts is unknown. Garganical remains in prison, as he didn't have a high enough speed stat to outrun the guards. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to alert the all new Gen 9 dog Pokemon Mabostiff about this development. Mabostiff should be able to track down Iron Mugulus using its heightened sense of smell. Thank you. Lucario is a glass cannon Pokemon. It's extremely frail, but it has a great attack and special attack stat. Lucario is in a middling speed tier with base 90 speed, which is fast enough to outrun most defensive Pokemon, but slower than the majority of top offensive threats. Even in its debut generation, it was slower than the majority of other offensive Pokemon in OU at the time. Lucario makes up for its lower than average speed with its access to some great priority moves. It has extreme speed, bullet punch, and even vacuum wave for a special attacking priority option. Despite its great special attack stat, the majority of Lucario sets over the years have been physical attacking sets due to the high power of close combat and access to those two great physical priority options. Lucario shines in the late game. If it ever gets an opportunity to swords dance, it can easily clean up games with its powerful extreme speeds and bullet punches. This role as a late game cleaner is the main benefit of using Lucario, and that identity remains the same in Gen 9. The tried and true swords dance, close combat, extreme speed, and bullet punch set is still the most common in Gen 9, and Lucario is one of the scariest offensive Pokemon in the Gen 9 UU format. Lucario's ability Inner Focus is the most common choice out of its three options. Prior to Gen 8, this ability was not very useful in singles, providing an immunity to flinch effects which was rarely relevant. But in Gen 8, this ability gained an additional effect, providing an immunity to the attack drop from the ability Intimidate. This effect is much more useful, and it provides Lucario with an immunity to Salamence's Intimidate effect, which could otherwise prevent you from cleaning up a game. Terrastalize was a nice bonus for Lucario in Gen 9. We've seen Dragonite get a lot out of the Terra Normal plus Extreme Speed combo, and Lucario can do the same thing down in UU. This huge 1.5x damage increase to Extreme Speed can help Lucario secure games even more effectively than it used to. Lucario's priority moves are able to threaten the majority of Pokemon in UU. Quagsire can ignore your offensive boosts and threaten to 1v1 you, but even a full defense Quagsire is going to be frightened of close combat, which can very easily wear them down as they switch in. Lucario will really impact how each player navigates the game. As the Lucario user, you want to try and chip enemies into range of your priority moves, and then find an opportunity to swords dance and end the game. When you're facing Lucario, you have to be more careful than usual about keeping your key defensive Pokemon healthy, and never letting Lucario get that turn of setup. It's nice to see this classic Pokemon still doing the same thing it's been doing for years, in the Gen 9 UU tier. I personally think it would be nice if Lucario got a new hidden ability in the future. We've seen Lucario's fellow Gen 4 veteran Gallade get a significant boost thanks to a new ability. Lucario's abilities don't do much, and it would be nice to give this Pokemon a bit more identity. But other than that, it's a balanced Pokemon that's enjoyable to use, and it has some awesome tools that other offensive threats can't provide. What do you think of Lucario? What is your favorite Pokemon from Generation 4? And what would you like me to talk about next? Let me know down below in the comments, and thank you for watching. This video topic was requested by Tier 2 Patron and Lucario fan Aura Nova. Thank you for the support, and thank you to the rest of the patrons as well. Become a Tier 2 Patron to request a Pokemon for me to cover in a short, informative video just like this one, and to appear on this beautiful end screen alongside your favorite Pokemon. The money got different. Cause of what I'm spending, the money got different. Oh, it's Magneton! Cause of what I'm spending, the money got different. It's scattered spikes!
the money that we be.